No, it's still difficult. Um, you know, every year, you know, you, the following year, you don't know who's going to be back, who's going to be here. Um, you know, you try to say goodbye to everyone because you, you never know what's going to happen. So, um, you know, you create such good bonds with these guys, and then, you know, you have these days, you, you say bye to everyone, and you just don't know what's going to happen. So it's uh, it's difficult. Um, you know, it's kind of sad, but, uh, you know, it's uh, it was a fun year playing with all those guys who – it was uh, it was a special year. What does the, the next six or seven weeks look like for you, knowing that you've got a big decision come July? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, sit down with my agent next this week sometime, and um, you know, figure out what's what's best for me and and my family, and uh, obviously, Calgary has a special place in my heart. I've been part of this organization for eleven years now, so. Um, Ever since day one I got here, um, the fans, the organization, my teammates, uh, even you guys. Um, sometimes when I'm playing bad, you guys give me a hard time, but that's all right. Um, but everything about this city I love. And uh, like I said, my wife loves it here. My, you guys can tell on Twitter, my uncle, my dad, my mom, my sisters, you know, brother. You know, everyone loves, loves Calgary, and it's a special place in our heart, and, and we love it here, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's it's important. I I hope uh, you know whether I'm here for the next eight years or not. Who knows what happens? But um, when my time does end here, you know, I hope you know people you know remember is remember me as you know a good person off the ice, uh, a good teammate, um, and uh, you know, just a good person. I think I don't really you know that people can think what I did on the ice, but uh, you know for me personally, I think just want people to know. You know how uh, how grateful I am for them welcoming me here, and then uh, hopefully it's a few more years there and they can get stuck with me. Yeah, I mean, I've been here for 11 years, and you know, haven't gotten to that ultimate goal, and it's been a while since they've they've won here. So I think uh, that'd be pretty special to to win a cup here, and uh, it's something that. You know, I kind of dreamed about my whole life, and uh, Calgary's, you know, a great place to do it. Does the fact that you guys had such a strong regular season and you know, got to the second half of the playoffs as a group, um, how much does that factor into it? That the fact that you have a really good team here that obviously has potential in the future. Yeah, I mean, we we have a great team here, and uh, like I said earlier, I mean, you never know who's going to be back and whatnot, but. Um, you know, I was really happy with the way our team made those strides this year, coming back from from last season. You know, not having a great year. Um, I was really proud of this group, and it's just a you know kind of a building block for us. You you said special group. I think Blake just said, you know used that as well. I know there was a lot of on ice success, and that contributes to it. But what do you think? You know, made this group so special. You know, in that locker room. I think the people in the locker room, um, off the ice. You know, just. Great people to be around. Um, it's fun to come to work, um, starting with Daryl all the way down through all the guys, training staff, equipment staff. Um, you know, everyone's uh, you know good people, and that's that's how you win in this game. You know, it's not the skill on the ice always. It's you know building a team that you know loves coming to work every day and, and get better. And uh, I think we did that this year. Yeah, um, you know, I probably won't think about it for a couple of days here. Obviously, it's still fresh that we lost, but um, like you said, I mean, I, I I don't know anything other than than Calgary. You know, it's uh, September. I fly to Calgary, play hockey, and then at the end of the season, I go home and spend time with the family. So um, that's all I've known for the past eleven years, and uh, it's uh, like you said, kind of a big decision here, and I'm gonna just try to figure out what, what's best for. For me first, and, and my family, and then and go from there. But Calgary is a, is, is a special place for me, and, and I do really, really love it here. Are your, uh, are your teammates kind of making it known to you over these whatever stretch, you know, over these last couple of days, what you mean to the you know the organization, and how much they'd like to see you back here? Yeah, I mean, you know, 
our whole every everyone wants to be back here. You know, we we had such a good group here, and uh, you know, obviously guys are gonna you know talk and and hope that we can get as many people back as we can because we did have such a a good fun year. And um, you know, it's uh, like I said, it's sometimes you know it doesn't always work out that way, and you know guys leave, traded this and that, but uh, you know I, I we do have a really good group in there. Johnny, who's been lobbying the hardest? Uh, probably tree. I mean, uh, <laughs> um, no, I mean, it, it's everywhere. I mean, it, it's such a, a great city to play in. I mean, my next door neighbors, um, pretty sure they were s shoveling my snow all year just to get me back. Um, but um, no, it's uh, go to Starbucks, you know, go out to eat, you know, everyone so welcoming and, and uh, you know, really wants me back here and it's uh it's great it's that's what you want to hear that's what you want people to think of you and, and they want you on your team and it's uh a little overwhelming at times but um it's you know it's great to hear and i i love it and um it's uh like i said it's just nice to hear everyone super wants me back so it's great was there was there you know your your decision obviously is massive but was there like yeah. a last dance type of mentality with this group knowing this season that Everything went right, and and it just might look pretty different next year. Did that that enter the, the locker room or team at all, or not? Not for me, you know. I didn't really do a. I like I didn't sit in the locker room and keep my jersey on, or you know, stare up in the stands. You know, that's something that I didn't really think of. Um, you know, um, but like you said, I do have a big decision, and um, we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. But uh, like I said, I. You know, I love it here. I love the fans. I love the city. And um, uh, but I never really had that moment where I was like, "Oh, this is this is it for me." So, um, you know, it's uh, I don't know. Might might be nice to hear. I guess I don't know.